Hey everyone, Ashley Bunny here, and today we're going to be playing on Roblox Royal High once again, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get lots of diamonds and how to level up quickly in Royal High without multipliers and, you know, without any game passes. So you basically don't have to spend any Robux to get lots of diamonds. So my first tip for you guys is to just go in your locker. So just claim a locker, you know, put in your combination, and make sure you get all of your books. I just get all of them. It makes life so much easier. Our first tip is for English class, which is perfect because English starts like right now. So just go to your class. And for English, you literally don't have to do anything. All you have to do is show up for class. And you can just walk out and you get an A+. And if you really want to do it, you literally can just answer anything and you'll still get an A+. I'll show you. You literally just click on anything. Just click on anything. And then time goes faster. Literally just click on anything and you're still you're still gonna get an A plus. So look, I still got an A. I still got all my levels. Look at that, I'm almost to level 109. Like guys, it's just so easy to win when you're in a private server, by the way. So you do need a private server. But if you're not in a private server, let me tell you what you do. You just make sure that you're like the first one. And one thing that I used to do, like the first time I ever played English in Royal High, I used to write down the um correct words. Because they randomize each time, but I used to write down the correct words so I'd have it like just like that really quickly. So the next hack I have for you guys is for PE, and this also goes along with swimming. But for PE, you literally just go over here and you sit on the bench. So then for PE, um, so you sit on the bench so you can get a head start, and then you can hurry up and finish this obstacle course. You get up on here, it's super easy. Like, you literally get a head start, so this is not just for private servers, but you can get a head start if you sit on that bench, because most people start back there, like over there by those rings, but if you sit on the bench, you can get a head start, and you can basically win the entire um, class, because you're the first one out there, you're ahead of everyone else, and out here, this is just another way to collect diamonds, make sure you get all of the diamonds, like every single one, I'm not gonna go through the trouble of getting every single diamond, because I only have like 15 seconds, but um, then there's this one big diamond on top that gives you 20 diamonds. So then you ring the bell. You can go and collect diamonds while you're waiting. And pretty much you just have a bunch of diamonds from that class. And it's just like a guaranteed win because, oh look, I leveled up. <laughs> anyway, so it's like a guaranteed win for the PE class if you get on that bench and you make sure you do all the parkour. So yeah, that is my PE hack. And one thing I do want to say is after each class, make sure you go ahead and grab some diamonds. I'm not going to have enough time, but make sure you grab some diamonds in between classes because it really makes the difference. So chemistry is up next. And for chemistry, you literally, this is like a competition game. In chemistry, you really don't have to do anything, but um, it literally speeds up so much time. It makes your day so much shorter if you just hurry up and do the chemistry thing. So since it's just you and the server, you only have to do it once. So yeah, you do the chemistry potion once, and then it's automatically 9 a.m. So that is a big time killer. And then computer class, yeah, it literally skipped all the way to 9.50, and it was just 9.01. So, And like I said, between classes, if you have enough time, make sure you go around and you get diamonds. Because it truly makes a difference. Because while you're in class, it may respawn and come back again. So, that just equals more diamonds for you. This speed game pass, honestly, <laughs> is helpful, but sometimes I just can't. Oh yeah, and this is a 20 diamond here, so if you can make it all the way from there to here, then you're pretty much set. And there's one under here. Um, I didn't collect some diamonds because I'm going to show you guys um, my secret diamond spots, or just secret diamond spots in general. But let's go to computer class. And this is where I have my next tip. So I like to sit down in the chair so my character doesn't move around, but you literally have to press one letter and then you're done. One letter, you see that one above my name? Just one letter. And you can walk out and you can go and collect diamonds because this is what I like to do. I like to just do the computer class or finish whatever class I'm doing, walk out and just go and collect diamonds because that's just like the easiest way. And don't worry if you don't have the Speed Game Pass, I literally just got the Speed Game Pass, like, not even two weeks ago. And I'm telling you guys, I used to be able to get around pretty much, you know, just the same as everyone else. So I'll turn down my speed, 
but you still do get lots of diamonds if you make sure to get diamonds between classes. So there we go, I got an A plus in computers. Oh, and next is baking. And one other small tip I have before we start baking class is do not go to breakfast or lunch because it's really just a waste of time and a waste of diamonds because you can basically get free cupcakes and free role play food if you go to your baking class, which is what I'm doing right now. And for baking, uh, pretty much all you have to do is make cupcakes, which is not that hard of a task. Um, the time is really not that tight. You have a bunch of time to make cupcakes. So I'm going to make some cupcakes and you basically just get an automatic A. There's really no failing baking class unless you literally just sit there and do nothing. Um, so this goes for private servers and public servers because literally it's not even a race. You just make cupcakes and you pretty much get all the credit and it's really no trouble at all. Just make sure that your cupcakes are done, so don't get up and do anything from your computer. Just make sure you put your cupcakes in and you chill out. And when they're done, you get the A+. I'm going to name my cupcakes Bunny Bunny Cakes. So place the baked goods. Um, I like to make them all pink, like every time I do this, of course, no surprise. And one thing I do like to do, um, so go to your keyboard and click the button under the escape button. I'm not sure if this if it's the same for everyone, but it's the little squiggly line on your keyboard that opens your inventory. You can place your cupcakes up there and there's like, you don't have to deal with it crowding up your inventory and your hotbar. So that's what I like to do. And I can do that with my books as well. I like to do that with my books just so it doesn't bother me. And again, you make sure you get diamonds in between classes. So once you're done with your cupcakes, literally just go around, get this five diamond up here go around and just collect diamonds from whatever spot you see and there's also some diamonds back here there is also some diamonds over here and there's also some diamonds up on this pedestal so yeah here is lunch and again do not go to lunch or breakfast it's literally such a waste you don't just don't spend your diamonds because again you're saving up and you don't want to spend all your diamonds so again, during breakfast and lunch, you make sure you go around, you grab some diamonds. See, this diamond that I collected earlier has already respawned, so that's another plus one for me. Again, this is a tutorial on how to get a bunch of diamonds in Royal High um, with no multipliers, like these cute little diamond hacks. And I'm pretty sure you guys will have lots of diamonds after this, because I'm pretty sure I started out this episode with like 400 diamonds. And so basically, this is what I do um, sometimes. Sometimes I just get my luck with the wheel, see if I get diamonds, or take my luck with the fountain, and it usually works a lot, so, so this is how I get diamonds super quickly, and make sure, like, make sure you're doing the classes and getting those A pluses, and make sure you bring your books again, because that is a big, 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 big factor on how many diamonds you're going to get, because it helps you level up quicker when you do those things. Um, guys, I just flew out from Royal High, because I saw this little dot, and <laughs> I think this is the principal's office. Um, what the heck is this? I'm actually confused. Wait, how do I get up there? This is a thing that's happening. So if you guys want a free room away from everyone else, I guess you just have to <laughs> fly all the way out here. So my next hack is for swimming class. And basically for swimming class, all you have to do is just get on top of this lifeguard. Um, get on top of this lifeguard seat. And you literally, you just sit here the entire, the entire 40 or 50 seconds and you're pretty much home free. And there we go. I fell down zero times. That's an automatic A plus for me. And I'm already almost to 110 levels. That just goes to prove how much this actually works. So the next hack is for art class. And I am sure most of you guys already know this, but there is a bunch of diamonds behind here. So what I like to do again is just, oops, I just put my paintbrush in my inventory because I'm not going to need that because you can A either way. So I know people say that an update changed the window's thickness and now you can't fly through it. But I find that, oh, my head's kind of stuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But I was going to show you guys, um... If you have your fly speed at full speed, so you have to have a game pass to do this. Or, you know, if you can find a way to do it without the game pass, let me know. Um, but I used to just fly at it at full speed like this, and it basically just launches me out of the classroom. So, I'm going to get all the diamonds first, then I'm going to show you guys. 
So these are some really good diamonds. There's a 20 and a 20, so that's already 40 entire diamonds right there. And then all these give you a bunch of diamonds. So that basically gives you a lot of diamonds. And there are diamonds on top of these trees, like I just gathered over there. There's one on top of here, but I already got it. And those give you 10 each. So let's see if we can uh, glitch our way back in. That was really weird. It literally just launched me out of the entire classroom. That was That was kind of rude. It takes a few tries. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, yeah, okay, I'm back in. <laughs> I'm back in, guys. So it looks like this window works too because I literally just got my head stuck in this window and it just launched me, but... So yeah, we still get an A+. Plus. You literally do not have to do art class. And look at that, we leveled up again and we're already at 1,200 diamonds, so we already have 1,200 diamonds. That is wild, that is crazy. So now that school's out, um, I advise you to go to your dorm, or you really don't have to go to your dorm, but I just like doing it. I like to go in my dorm. I know you can do it from anywhere, but I like to sit at my computer and start my homework. So, and um, one other thing, um, I did not know until recently because I used to just go like this and do my homework like that. But I did not know until recently that you could use your actual um, arrow keys on your keyboard. So that makes it go much faster, much faster. Like, look at that. That makes it go much faster. So we have swimming, chemistry, and computers. So. Those are pretty easy classes to get to. I already forgot. So is it computer? Yep. And then chemistry and swimming. And you literally, guys, look at this level bar. It goes up a lot. <laughs> it goes up a decent amount when you turn in your homework. So that's already helping you make your way towards the next level and getting 300 diamonds. And of course, um, since I'm in a single player server, since I'm on a private server, I can't go to the ball because there's literally no one there to vote for me and it doesn't really work if you go alone. I just want to show you guys some super secret diamond spots that I have found myself. And if you guys already know about it, then it's totally fine. But these are some diamond spots that I know that I like to go to every time to get more and more diamonds. So this is one on top of the lighthouse and it gives you 20. I already showed you guys that during the PE class, but... You know, it's just something anyways. And then um, the principal's office. So here we go. Everybody knows about this one. There's a 20 diamond in the fire. If you didn't know about it, then there you go. And there's a bunch of little diamonds on here that you can get. And guys, make sure, like, each diamond counts. Don't just be like, ew, that's just a one diamond. It's not going to help me. Literally, those build up. So make sure you get those too. Don't think it's insignificant. The next one is the tent outside. So... Um, I think I already showed you guys this one. Yeah, it's over here. So this is a 20 diamond, of course. And like I said, do not miss any diamonds. Like, every diamond counts. So here is a 1 diamond over here, and there's a 1 diamond over here. And then there's one 10 diamond over here. Yeah, it's green. Okay, so that gives you 10 diamonds over here. And it's under, um... So it's under this one right here. So it's not this one behind these rocks. It's this one. The next diamond spot is in these little sewer drains. So um, I like to use my flying game pass, but you literally don't have to use your flying game pass. You literally can just sit here and do like a bunch of poses. See, look, I literally just glitched through without even <laughs> without even trying. I was literally just walking. Um, but yeah, so that is a 10 diamond in there. And there's also three one diamonds in here. So, um, oops. Okay, yeah, I'm in. So there's three diamonds in here worth one. Again, every diamond counts. So make sure you go for these as well. Then I already showed you guys the art class diamond spots because that is like one of the most popular ones. And one other thing is English class. If you go to English, there are some really cool diamonds back here. They're like baby pink diamonds. And I really like the color, but again, they're just single diamonds. Make sure you still collect them. And guys, I don't know if any of you guys knew about this, but there's one giant pink diamond that spawns out here. Oh no, I just went outside. Oh gosh. I have yet to get to this diamond. I don't even know how to glitch out of this class. Oh, hello? Oh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyway, skip the royal dance. There is a pink diamond out here, and I can't get to it. I think it's worth a lot, so I'm going to try to get to that. This is really difficult. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I finally glitched out of the classroom, and here's a big pink five diamond out here, and oh my gosh, that was too much. That was like too crazy for me. All right, so it took me a long time to get out here, so make sure that, um, I think I got it. Yeah, I got out using this window. Make sure you, <laughs> make sure you use these windows right here. Um, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it was just me, but I feel like these windows 
um, are easier to get through because all the times I tried to glitch through, it just like wasn't letting me. So, oh my gosh, look at my, my torso is halfway through. Okay. See, okay. See, I can glitch in and out now. <laughs> and look at that, guys. All the time it took me to get outside, these diamonds respawned. So, uh, if it takes you guys as long as me, you get double the diamonds back here. So, that's also a plus. So, the next diamond spots are from chemistry class. So, you go to the chemistry lab, and there's a bunch of diamonds. Again, guys, single diamonds do count. Even though they're small, even though they are small, that is still a lot of diamonds. So, um, I just like to grab most of them. Because usually it's kind of a hassle to get all of them, but I do like to get all of them. No, I'm not going to the ball. But like I said, I do like to get most of these diamonds in chemistry class. So the next spot is in swimming class, and this gives you five diamonds if you go up to this diving board. So that just gives you five diamonds, and this one just gives you one, but that's totally fine. And then this lifeguard thing over here gives you one diamond as well, so make sure you get on there. Thank you. And then some other secret spots. I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this, but this spot right here, if you go behind the seashells, there's three diamonds over here, and then there's a five diamond over here. So that's basically six diamonds because there's a... Oh, I'm stuck. Anyway, so there is a one diamond. Oh, I just got stuck. Okay, there's a one diamond and a five diamond. So that is six over here and three over there. And then it's the exact same on the other side. Um, I think so. No, yeah, these are just three diamonds. And over here is also three diamonds. So make sure you get these super secret hidden diamonds at the bottom of the pool. They blend in like really well. So make sure you get those as well. Oh my gosh. Why has the royal ball begun? No one is here. <laughs> the gates closed immediately. Thank you. And I just found out about this spot recently. But if you go behind here, there is a waterfall. And there's a bunch of diamonds. So um, I know it looks like water, but you basically... It's not really water. It's basically just ground. But there is one, two, three, four, and then there's a five diamond. So that's nine. Oh, no, it's a ten diamond. So that's 14 diamonds right there. So that's like 14 whole diamonds back here. So, you know. And our 20 diamond has spawned back because I haven't been here in a while. So there we go. And the last diamond spot I want to show you um, is behind this waterfall in the Little Mermaid cave. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this now, but there's a bunch of diamonds here, and there's like some in the walls. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. What? Anyways, there's some in the walls, so make sure you get those as well. You get those diamonds, make sure you get these out of the side of the wall. Sometimes they're really stuck in the wall, like I don't get it. Okay, well now I'm really stuck on the wall. Okay. Okay, I'm finally out of the wall, and there's some under here, so, or there's one under here, so make sure you get that as well. Anyways, guys, that is all the diamond hacks and all the diamond spots that I have to show you guys today. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hop on that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to become a bunny and to join the bunny garden. This has been your girl Ashley Bunny here. Bye. Mwah.